Hi Crystal, it's Bank Holiday Monday and it's part two and I'm walking up to my parents. We have some nice dump chairs with bird shit on them. This is a lovely place called Henry Street. Now I'm a, I, I'd like to be by the seaside today. I'd like to be with a boyfriend having fun. But my once a week outing is to my parents. And it's been the same way as a child. What do I mean? Never really went on holidays, never had boyfriends. Just went home to mummy and daddy. We have a car blatantly on the pavement with a home number plate ready to go up to see my dad. <laughs> By the way, I haven't got my hoe gear on today, folks. This is me, jeans and t-shirt, no tattoos. I have my ears pierced, but nothing else. Um, when I was at All Hallows with my father, they would walk around our caravan half naked. And it's very embarrassing when you're on holiday with your dad. Do you know what I mean? So I have to walk around with the camera to stop it. I haven't had a proper relationship in the 10 years I've been down in Chatham. Because they seem to think I fancy my own father. And why would I want to do that? They like dressing up in his clothes. Oh, by the way, an update on Dad's dad, who fancies a neighbour now. It was Julie Preston at Victoria Road. But now I've been told my dad fancies someone else in Doral Gardens. And then, lo and behold, I get a call. From a woman that sounds like the woman that fancies my dad offering me a property at Struth. I mean, I look like Derek because I'm his daughter, but that's, a part, that's about it. I mean, when we went on a holiday together, was it two Derricks together, was it? <laughs> Maybe someone thought I was going to grow up and marry my own dad. Well, it feels like prison to me. Um, if someone blackmailed me, I don't care what for, I wouldn't do it, even if they shot me. <sighs> because I've got more strength than anybody could ever know. So if someone said to me, sleep with your dad, I'll give you 50,000 quid, I'd tell them to stuff them up their ass. Or if you don't sleep with your dad, I'll take your children off, off you. Well, I've got my morals. This is where I lived with my parents for five years before I finally got out. Victoria Road, Chatham. My dad used to drive me to Lansdowne Court from number 55, yonks ago. <laughs> Where we used to sit at the flat, play a game while I did a bit of washing. 
while everybody was thinking something else was going on. And mum used to say, Derek, Janestra, cooey, coo, enjoy yourself you two. Doing what? a transit lorry there now. A Trojan lorry used to park opposite there. This is where I used to live. I don't live here now. Number 55. And the Scooby-Doo stick has finally come off. You have to be careful when you leave photographs, birth certificates and things behind at properties because people steal your identity. <laughs> and we have a carling can on the floor. And he can fuck off and all. Um, I know that my ex is a blackmailer because he bla threatened to um, tell on David about something but David had already told so I do know he's a blackmailer <laughs> and I wouldn't put it past him hitting a woman either if you think I'm going out with a man like that you're mistaken A man that hurts cats and blackmails people, <laughs> no. And he smokes and he drinks and he has drug takers in his home. And if I have to be single, so be it. The magic word, see you later. I'm supposed to be Godzilla now and start rampaging. Got a nice suntan. Well, she's been in the in the cooker. Well, I've been cleaning the floor, sweeping up with a dustpan and brush. She's been to the Bahamas. We've got a car with a 69 number plate. For all those people that know about the Karma Sutra, we know what that means, don't we? David on the bike. He's got David's haircut. Well, someone's dumped a dinosaur slide down there. I'll just cut off for a minute and we'll do it again.